name is the Clever Fool. Today we'll be playing the second episode of the Milo and Unlikely Alliance. Let's dive right into it. After her husband's murder, Dazarina ruled the kingdom in disarray. Though this would have challenged even the most capable Tsar, the dark-haired Greek princess was greater than most men. Beautiful and cunning, Maria Paleologina Cantacuzene was a daughter of two of the greatest families in Constantinople. She had wed the Tsar on the orders of her uncle, the Emperor, but her Byzantine guile proved as much a benefit to her husband. When a rival Bollier threatened Constantine's rule, Maria offered to adopt him as her son and heir. The opportunistic Bollier accepted and feasted in the Tsar's court, only to be found dead shortly afterward. Poisoned. But now, with an uprising in the countryside and scheming bolliers in her own court, it would take all of Maria's cunning to preserve her power. But a more threatening menace came from her own uncle. The headstrong Roman Emperor Mikhail Palaiologos demanded his niece's submission. The Tsarina, just as strong will, refused. Furious that his own niece stifled his ambition, the Emperor chose an exiled prince to place on the Bulgarian throne. Ivan, the returning son of the Asen dynasty deposed by Constantine, led a great Roman army to retake his father's kingdom. The Tsarina alone could not defeat the Romans, nor could Ivailo challenge both the Tsarina and Ivan. The logic of these facts dictated the most unlikely alliance between a rebel leader and the wife of the Tsar who murdered. Love the political mind games in this storyline so far. Really, really into this. Okay. So our main objectives here are to capture and hold the Church of the Patriarchs. And that the Church of the Patriarchs must not be destroyed. Hence tell us that you are restricted to the population limit of 200. The Yantra River is too shallow for large war vessels. You will not be able to construct any. Okay, that's good to know. The land is boggy and many areas are unsuitable for buildings. Oh gosh. You will need to defend the Church of the Patriarchs with units instead of walls and towers. I can get behind that after playing so many levels where castles are the king of, uh, king of the campaign. Where once you get a castle, you're basically one. I, I can get behind this. Your scouts report that the city of Tarnovo on the Yantra River is ruled by Serena Maria, who seeks an ally in her war against the pretender Ivan Asen. The two claimants to Bulgaria's throne are battling for control of the Church of the Patriarchs, the seat of the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. Whoever controls this wonder will have claim over the Bulgarian Tsardom. Ivan Asen attacks from the west and the east. Both of, both of his armies field infantry, but his western force in green Musters, conics, and cavalry archers, while his eastern wing fights with boyars and monks. Goodness gracious. And his eastern side is in yellow. Even is aided by the Romans, and sign in the south, their cataphracts are dangerous, but their base lacks walls. That sounds like an opportunity for us to fuck them up, if anything. Even Asin and his Roman thugs are desecrating the church of the Patriarchs. Save the church, and you will be rewarded beyond your dreams. It's the same voice actor as the narrator. Milo, help us! Very good. I didn't take too much damage from the pike in there. The little piglet has come to play. Do not worry, piglet. You will have a place in my kingdom. Shoveling pig down. how once a Velo himself dies, he also falls off and becomes a new hero unit. 
Kind of a shame that that happened, but uh, I'll accept it for now. Join me, Ivaila. I promise you that no woman is quite like me. Is that an invitation, my lady? Am I going the wrong way here? Feels like I'm going the wrong way here. Let's go this way. No woman is quite like you, eh? So our new objective is to enter Tarnovo to fill, fulfill the Serena's request. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's return to pick up our two remaining conics. In the meantime, I guess we'll Go this direction. We lost one of our dismounted conics, sadly. To a wily conversion there. Do I need... Our enemies have stolen the relics of Saint Ivan of Rila. It would give me such pleasure if you found the relics and brought them to the monastery. Let's go to the Tsarina real fast. Perhaps she'd be willing to help us with something in addition to what the forces we've got here. We need to find three more relics. What? 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 What's going on here? Uh, am I living in a creepypasta? Hello? Those guys are traveling at like the speed of I light. I'm weary of you. I will crush you now and take the throne from that harlot of an entrance. Oh, that pesky little Ivan is still running about. It would please me to make him squeal for mercy. Run, run, run. Back to your cell, little piglet. Oh, I see. So it's like a it's like a monument, really. Hey, it's Georgi. Welcome back, man. Uh, regular archers are not going to do as much good here. We need to build as much of our eco as possible here. Spread two thing here. Let's retreat. And 
And actually, the Byzantines have control. Which is fun because it means that uh, no one's countdown is gonna go. So I'll gladly keep things going as they are now. Healing, which is fun. Yeah, and neither neither monument is going down. It is actually a great opportunity for us to uh, make some progress in our economy here. Grab Racer. I think our operating force of Conics and Cavalry Archers would be good. Oh, look at how kind they are. They even donated some food to us. Seems like the US counters restarted again. Kind of unfortunate if you ask me. Let's keep producing more conics. Actually, how much does a conic even cost? 60 food, 70 gold. They're very cost efficient units now that I think about it. Let's pick up Blast Furnace. on the wonder, that's fine. We've got a couple more armor upgrades that we need. And I think we can just stuff these guys' efforts for a little while longer until we can get a castle up on this west side here. It'll be good. Do I have a market here? Prada, 
Connex. We need the light cavalry. Let's retake this wonder here. Assaulting us from the bottom left here. That's all right. Let's try to pick up uh, Elite Conic at some point. Searching Lee Conic. Grab Barding Armor here. Prop rotation, auto receive. More gold. More Lee Conic. Need more stone at some point, too. Let's retake with these Conics. Keep producing more. Not enough gold. It's fine. Let's secure a source of more. We capture three of the relics. At a university, let's pick up uh, chemistry. And I think we're going to want to move into using uh, Hussos here. I think I built this castle a little bit too far back. Don't get faith, sadly. Got 41 on food. Let's start building a couple treads. Get more wood 
miners here. Wood choppers. Yeah, this castle definitely would have been better suited if we situated a little bit further forward. Consider uh, hurting green a little bit here. I don't know if the uh, if the level just glitched or what, because those numbers aren't going any further down. Oh my god, the noise of changing is going to drive me nuts. So upgrade is in. Oh, there's another stone mine here the whole time. This is why scouting is paramount. that gold mine that'll be vital for us I want to think of a way of getting these relics down as well for our side Sure, if it's just okay, there's two relics. I can't tell if we just glitched this or, or what because those numbers are not going down any further. Can build a crepos, maybe like right here. That should stem the tide. There's more gold mines to the south there. Let's take out this tower. Just the last 
it looks like our number is actually starting to go down a little bit here. Very good. We're still running Hussars. They're a nice gold free investment here. They're good against the monks. Lack the food to do the games. Be able to grab two relics here. <laughs> Militia line units plus five armor. Sure, we'll take it. We'll also build a few barracks here, all we can. Dodge and dealy. Miners would always be appreciated. Actually, that 47 on wood. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One relic, very nice. Do we get any more though? I don't think so. Let's pick up a deer just so we're able to produce them. Pretty good eco going on now, however. Produce elite conics. And let's start hammering our way at the western base here. But we're doing admittedly much better than we were before. The tide has turned. And we're holding the middle. And we've received a bunch of tribute. I guess that's help from Maria. If that's help from Maria, I greatly appreciate it. Even if it's not, I still appreciate it. Are there any vital texts that we're missing here? I don't think so. I think we've just we've got just about everything. actually pick up uh, Parthian Tactics. I want to get the uh, heavy cavalry archers mixed into this if I can. Uh, we're losing our trebs. Placement trebs go, go, go. Got two of the three relics here. Let's make a push towards that monastery. That's the one that's been producing the monks, man. Is that annoying? Down to 71 years. We're actually making a pretty sizable dent in uh, Green's base here. Okay, 
also nice to know that Krepos have the same selection sound as castles here. So oh no. Please don't tell me. This is one of those types. That's a lot of conics. Let's make sure that we're producing conics of our own here. Trying to convert my mining camp. All right, gotta say I admire your spirit, but uh, if the mining camp's really what you guys are going for, you're gonna be disappointed. Probably lose these three trebs. That's all right. Happy with yeah, using yeah, light yeah. cavalry? This cannot be. You have my very powerful enemies, Swinehead. The Emperor will not forget this. Of course. We've only got eight years remaining. So we should be good here. So you guys take care of that monastery. Yeah, we got tons of conics here. <laughs> the Slavic monks get uh, armor upgrades. Totally forgot. Crepos down here as well as defensive measure. Tons of wood. Let's sell some of that. The year count's been frozen at eight again. Not sure what that means, but all right. somewhere else. That's 
Scepter. Getting access anywhere. And remove these traps to destroy the Byzantines here. Spamming light cab, keep spamming conics. And again, I'm not sure if it's because this level is a glitch or what, but uh, we should have won this much earlier than we ended up doing. Capture the third relic here. Crush the Romans. Picked up the relic, which is good. Monastery is gone, which is also good. I guess the blue land is the territory that we're unable to build on in the mini map. It's good to know. But really, why is this frozen at eight? I had almost forgotten what it felt like to be with a man with the power to do as he wants. Oh my god, you're laying on this strong, don't you think, Serena? Heavy cavalry archer here, just just for diversity's sake. But I don't think in the end we'll need them. I think the main limiting factor is still gold here. Relics captured as well, so secondary objective to be completed. Let's send these trips to uh, help wipe out the green base. 
I'm not certain if this is a glitch or not. Because, uh... Yeah, it just doesn't make, it just doesn't make much sense. We're sitting at eight years. Da. Oi, Vilo. Our enemies are almost defeated. Hold the church a little longer. I'm holding it. Like, I don't understand what's going on. She's just teasing me at this point. We're gonna need to just defeat all three of the enemies. My kingship. Right, Congress. Right, the church. And slaughter my enemies. Okay, they, they just got a crap ton of conic spawns here. Like, hello? That's so unfair. Okay, the Romans have been defeated. Turn and finish off the western base now, then. I really don't get it. This level is glitched. It's completely scuffed. Once we beat the cats out of Teal, we'll be good. Of course, they're gonna take down the Lone Trail over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah! This cannot be! You have my very powerful enemy, Swineherd! The Emperor will not forget this! Ugh. I do believe we have a case of a glitch level on our hands. I'm very unfortunate. Just out of nowhere, we just suddenly become victorious. I don't know what caused the year count to start going down again, but down it went indeed. This isn't even the primary race. There is more to come if we're in this direction. Actually, I'm not sure where those onagers came from. I don't see the siege workshop. Perhaps they, oh no, there's one right here. Yeah, so uh, year-wise, I think there might be something a little bit scuffed with the triggers because we're, they were definitely sitting on like 172 years for a while. We were definitely sitting on eight years for a really, really long while. Um, but in the end, we did get the W and I guess uh, my tip would be to make sure that you are, I think adding light cavalry in, um, with the unique upgrade, the stirrups upgrade that we have, is a good way to preserve gold. Um, and then also using conics to be very population efficient is also very, very strong. Conics are such a powerful unit. I really like playing with them. Uh, and I guess grabbing the relics would be pretty good as well. But most importantly, kind of setting up defenses on this choke point across this bridge is good for making sure that your immediate base is safe. Um, and honestly, the eastern base is not too much of a threat. Uh, light cavalry is, just spamming light cavalry in that general direction is going to be good enough. Uh, nor is the Rowan base, truthfully. They don't send trebs or anything. Um, I don't really, I didn't really see too many strong units coming from them. They were sending, like, skirmishers. So, again, like, who cares, right? Uh, it's definitely the western even ascend base that we need to care about the most here. Vilo's army filled the Yantra River with the Roman dead, securing Maria's place on the throne. Now, the Tsarina had to fulfill her end of the bargain. As Ivilo approached the gates of the fortress, 
Maria waited silently for the man who had killed her husband. As Ivailo stepped before her, the Tsarina placed the Tsar's crown, once worn by her husband and father of her child, on the swineherd's head, crowning a peasant, a king. The objections of the watching nobility were silent but palpable. Then, in a hasty ceremony, Maria wed the newly crowned Tsar, tying her fate with his. Interesting turn of events. Worth noting that Tsarina Maria's voice and the narrator's voice seem to be very similar. So I wonder how all of this is going to end. In any case, next time we will play Tsar of the Bulgars. But until then, my name has been The Clever Fool. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.